Oh, no problem. You made it on time. I right, got taller. Oh, these are the booths. I think this is a good place to showcase the lens. This lens just came on this year, early this year. They were really good. The water's coming in. Yeah, what is your do start? Now, of course, the focus of this video is the Nikkor 85mm 1.2S lens. And the primary reason that you're probably watching this video is for the aperture at 1.2. And for portraits, this lens is really amazing. Eli is super sharp in focus, and the background is just blurred out, super creamy. The bouquet is super smooth. And it's really convenient because right now, there's 5 p.m. traffic, as you can see uh, behind Elia, but as I take the photos, it's just blurred out and there's nothing distracting about the photo. You're gonna, your eyes will go directly towards the model. Everyone, welcome to another episode of Guam Photography. Of course, I'm reviewing the Nikkor 85mm 1.2 S lens. This lens is perfect for portraiture. Its main feature is the aperture, which can be wide open at 1.2. So you get what you pay for. Corner sharpness is excellent. Sharpness in the center of the frame is super sharp. Bokeh is super creamy. And the model to help us test this lens today is? I'm Elia. And this is Elias actually your third time being on the channel. Yes. First time was kind of like behind the scenes. Second time, uh, I know we shot with the other Nikon camera, the ZFC. Now I'm using the Z9 with this lens to um, take portraits of you. How do you like the photo so far? Is it turning out okay? Yes, it shows the really small details and it's really sharp. At 1.2 wide open, super sharp. How about the, some people don't really like the backgrounds too blurry. Mm -hmm. um, I know this is a good place to test it out. There's a lot of trees, buildings. And when I take the photo, of course, depending on distance, if I'm very close to you, it'll be even more blurred out. Uh, do you prefer portraits that are kind of like that, where you're the main focus and the background's kind of blurry? That makes me sad because I love lenses that can blur out the background. My family always teases me, why, tra why travel to Japan to do a photo shoot where the model's in focus and you can't see where the model is, it's all blurred out. But maybe if we'll take some environmental shots, wide open, you know, far away, okay. and so the background won't be as, as blurred. Okay. Um, but I just want to shoot this lens all day at 1.2. Okay, we'll keep on shooting.
is changing into her second outfit. I didn't want to talk about the specs of this lens too much, but as you can see on the Z9, it is very huge. The filter thread and the lens hood, you can detach it by pressing the button. Filter thread, 82 millimeter filter thread. It is huge, especially with the lens hood on, it makes this lens look even more bigger in person than it, as you can see in the video, but this is, this is a beast. And I believe it has 11 rounded diaphragm blades. So if you stop it down, the bouquet will be smooth. And again, just looking at the glass in the front, it's huge, but the bouquet has character, very smooth. We're gonna get some shots before the sun's, um, the sun's gonna set soon. So we'll get some shots with the light in her second outfit. All right. okay. Okay, so the closest focus scene of this lens is less than three feet. So I'm gonna go as close as I can. And this is good for headshots. It's gonna be super shallow 1.2. I can still get focus. I'm out of focus. I can still get focus around here. Uh, Garfield, can you come close? Okay, so I can still get focus here. Very nice. If I go closer, I, I lost focus. See the box is red going back. So about 2.7 feet. And the thing that kind of annoys me is if you set this, if you don't touch the default settings, this lens can accidentally change your aperture. I'm sorry, this ring can actually accidentally change your aperture. So at the gate, some of the shots were at 1.8 instead of 1.2. And I know it said I was going to shoot the whole photo shoot at 1.2. Okay, we'll keep on shooting. Sun is setting, we are done with our photo shoot. I think we got a lot of good shots and I'm still kind of upset that the aperture changed from 1.2 to 1.8. And I guess Elia got her wish by saying she doesn't want blurry <laughs> backgrounds. And so you're gonna see a little bit of the fence. I mean, you know, towards the end of the fence um, shots we got, I accidentally hit the 1.8. So you're gonna see a little bit um, of the fence, but I guess it's a good way to test if it's still sharp at 1.8 versus 1.2 being wide open. And your second outfit, a um, little bit more of a street wear. And we were able to get some good shots uh, using the available light. Uh, but what do you think uh, about the photos overall using this um, portrait lens? Very expensive portrait lens. I love them. It's such good quality. It brings out... I like the way it makes my eyes look. <laughs> it's... I, yes, I do notice that um, when the Z9 focuses on your eyeball, mm -hmm. Even when we were doing the headshots, mm -hmm. even though it's super shallow, that one eye doesn't focus is super sharp, wide open. And I think that's why they need, needed to make this physically large to mm -hmm. let in all the light. And it sucking light at 1.2, it's not gonna compromise on the sharpness. It's gonna, it's gonna be there because the, the way they made the glass is um, the optimizer for everything. Sharpness, bokeh, mm -hmm. Um, very awesome lens. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, wh which is your favorite shots? Is it from the first outfit or second outfit? I think I like the shots at the fence mm -hmm. and when I was sitting down. Yeah. And when I was sitting here. Yes. And again, lots of traffic going on, a lot of people, but this lens will just delete the background, uh, so to say, but um, I don't know. I, I love bokeh. I love blurry background. I love lenses that can produce that. And this has exceeded my expectations um, using this uh, lens on this photo shoot. 
Uh, but thank you so much for helping me test this lens out. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Do you have any social media our viewers can follow you? I do. My Instagram is Elia Faith. And okay. Yeah. We'll put it right here on the screen. Okay, go and follow. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. The cool thing about the Z9 is it has no mechanical shutter. It's all electronics. So wide open at 1.2, right here. Shooting into the direct sunlight, this uh, coconut leaf, 1 20th thousand. Let's see if I can show you here. 1 20th thousand of a second electronic shutter wide open at 1.2. That's the advantage of having electronic shutter like this. That's very, that has a very fast readout.